Okay, if you're taking a college algebra course, you're definitely going to have to be able to handle problems like these two equations right here to pass. And uh, if you think you know how to solve each one of these equations, go ahead and do so and put your answers in the comment section. So we have two equations, x squared is equal to 10 and 2 to the x power is equal to 10. Uh, obviously, um, they're pretty much dealing with the same variable and numbers, but this problem is quite different than this problem. Although they might look a little similar, what we do is completely different. So this is definitely college uh, algebra level stuff or algebra two uh, you know, at the high school level. So if you're at the, you know, taking any sort of algebra course, okay, you want to stick around because it doesn't have to be just college algebra. You can be taking an intermediate algebra course or some other type of course that has algebra. You know, this is going to apply to you as well. So we're going to get into all of this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are having a difficult time in math, I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way, okay? So I have not met any uh, bad math students over decades of teaching mathematics, okay? If you have the desire uh, to want to learn, okay, if you're willing to work, right, you can be successful. So when I talk about, you know, if you think you're a bad math student, that just means that you're not, you haven't found success. But you can find success, which you need, okay, if you're willing to put into work, and uh, do all the, you know, your part, what you need is the right instruction, something that's very clear and understandable. So that's my teaching style, okay? I really like to explain things in super easy, bite-sized pieces so that any student, every student can learn this stuff, okay? So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, I can definitely help you out. Now, if you happen to be uh, preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or CLIP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam. I can definitely help you uh, prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, well, you definitely have to check out my homeschool math courses. We were just voted number one in middle and high school mathematics by a, a pretty major uh, homeschool publication, national publication. We're pretty proud of that. We're going to be announcing uh, more about that. Uh, so definitely uh, check out our homeschool math courses. And if you uh, need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes also in the description of this video. But uh, if you want great grades in math, you must learn how to take great math notes. So start improving your notes and everything will start getting better. Okay, so let's get into these two equations, uh, they look similar, okay, but they are quite different. Of course, I'm going to solve uh, both of these here in a second, but uh, let's go down and take a look at uh, what's going on here, okay? Well, first thing is this, all right? Before you do anything, you need to be able to identify what type of equations uh, we're dealing with here. So this first equation, x squared is equal to 10, is a what? Well, hopefully you recognize that as a quadratic equation. So this is the kind of stuff you study like in Algebra 1. So what can you tell me about quadratic equations? Okay, I'm just asking you. Uh, so put, the, put some of your answers into the comment section. How do we solve quadratic equations? Okay, so that's a question for you. The second thing is how many solutions uh, does a quadratic equation have? All right, so let's go ahead and just answer this right now. So quadratic equations will always have two solutions, always, always, always. Sometimes they're going to be real number solutions or imaginary uh, number solutions, but they're always going to have two solutions. Now, how we solve quadratic equations, well, there's all kinds of different techniques, and um, this is stuff, again, you should ma uh, have mastered in Algebra 1. You probably are reviewing this already, like in the college algebra course, but sometimes you can take the square root of both sides. Sometimes you can factor. Sometimes you have to use uh, the quadratic formula, and then there's something called completing the square. So there's quite a bit of different techniques involved in um, solving quadratic equations. Okay, so these are some, just right here is just some basic overviews of quadratic equations. So let's go ahead and solve this. And uh, we have x squared is equal to 10. So the easiest way to solve this is simply to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 10. Now here we're not talking about the principal square root. Uh, we're going to be talking about the plus and minus version. So the square root of 10 is plus and minus the square root of 10. Okay. So for example, if I took the square root of 4, 
uh, the answer is going to be plus or minus 2. Why? Because positive 2 times positive 2 is positive 4, and negative 2 times negative 2 is also a positive 4. So these are our two solutions here, both positive and negative. Okay. Remember, uh, quadratic equations have two solutions. So over here, okay, our two solutions would be what? Well, one solution is going to be positive square root of 10, and our second solution is negative square root of 10. So instead of writing this way, positive square root of 10, negative square root of 10, it's pretty, um, pretty common just to write this notation plus or minus right here. It just saves us uh, for having us to write these two unique solutions. But just remember, there are two unique solutions to this quadratic equation. All right, so if you got that right, that's excellent. I'll give you a little check mark here. So now let's talk about this equation, okay? So what are we talking about here? You can see I have it abbreviated. Well, uh, this, uh, in this particular equation, the variable is an exponent, okay? So down here, this uh, x was down in the base, all right? And we recognize this as a polynomial to degree 2. But here, the variable that we're looking for is in the exponent. So we would classify this as an exponential equation, because okay? so this is an exponential equation. If you knew that, that's excellent. So how do we solve exponential equations? Okay, well, you need to use something called logarithms, okay? So when we see an exponential equation, we're going to have to use logarithms to solve it. When we see a logarithmic equation, we're going to have to use ex, uh, exponents to solve uh, logarithmic equations because uh, exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverse functions of one another, okay? So you're going to have to know both of these uh, when you're at that college algebra, algebra 2 level. Okay, so I kind of gave you some hints here, all right? Uh, that this is an exponential equation, and you're going to be using logarithms to solve. So just in case you forgot that, and you're like, okay, now I remember that. Well, then let me go ahead and see you do this problem. Go ahead and pause the video and solve for x. Okay, so if you know how to do this, we'll, this will take you about 30 seconds. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this now. All right, so the first thing we want to do is just take the log of both sides, the logarithms of both sides. I want to go log 2x is equal to log 10. Now, if you go into your calculator, okay, uh, you put in log 2, L-O-G 2, you'll see that this is just a number itself. Log 10 is just a number uh, in and of itself. So these are just numbers, okay? So let me just uh, write this, right, make this... Uh, much clearer. Okay, so I'm taking the log of both sides. Now I want to solve for x. So what we need to now know is a property of logarithms. So I have a problem. I don't have personally the property. There is a pro uh, property that says that we can drop this variable, this little exponent in front of the log. This is how we unlock this solution. So I'm going to take this x and rewrite it down here. x log 2 is equal to log 10. Okay. All right. Now, again, if I use my calculator, log 2 is just a decimal I can find on my calculator. Same thing with log 10. Okay. This is called the common logarithm. I'm skipping a lot of stuff here. I'm not really talking about what a logarithm is, etc. But really, what you need to know is logarithms are powerful. They allow us to solve exponential equations. And you'll need your calculator for most problems. Okay. So we have x times a number. Okay, this again, this is a decimal, so x times some number is equal to another number. So how do I solve for x? Well, I just simply divide both sides of the equation by log 2. And so x is going to be equal to log 10 divided by log 2. Of course, I can go into my calculator and get that actual uh, decimal, and uh, you'll get the right answer. Okay, but let's take a look at x uh, to the 10th power, right? Or 2x to the 10th power, okay? So this is the real power of logarithms. So like, well, let's say we didn't know logarithms and we're like, hmm, 2 to what power is 10? Well, is it 2 to the first? No, because 2 to the first is 4. Uh, so let's increase our power. How about 2 squared? All right, I'm sorry, 2 to the first is 2. Excuse me. Okay, see, I made a mistake, but I caught myself, right? So 2 to the first is 2. That's not going to work. 2 squared is 4. Okay, I'm looking for 2 to what power is 10? Okay, so I'm just kind of going up here. I'm like 2 to the first is 
two. Two squared is four. How about two cubed? Well, that's two times two times two, two times two times two, which is, of course, four times two, which is eight. So that's pretty close, right? Two cubed is eight. Uh, so I want 10. So I'm going to have to increase from three, right? So let's go down here. And I go 2 to the 4th power, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this is 4 times 4, which is now 16. Okay, so 2 to the 4th, you know, puts me way over the top. I want 10. I don't want 16. So 2 cubed is a little bit closer to 10. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, you can just kind of estimate this. You can be like, oh, hey, use your calculator, uh, 2 to the 3.5, see what decimal you get. But your final answer here would be somewhere around 2 uh, to the uh, 3 point, maybe 1, or I don't have my calculator in front of me, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, to solve these equations and get the actual specific exact answer, you need logarithms. So when you go into your calculator and you perform this operation, you'll get that exact decimal. But you can see how powerful logarithms are. All right. But uh, remember, if you're at the college algebra level, algebra two level, uh, you know, any, you know, more than just a first year algebra level in terms of your uh, mathematics, you have to be able to identify what type of equations you're working with. That's the first thing because some equations look similar right? and sometimes students confuse one for the other. And that's why you really have to take notes and you got to study and practice, 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 because as you continue to learn math, especially if you're at the college algebra level, which likely means you are in college, you know, you're kind of expected at this level that, hey, you, you know, have the academic skills and habits, i.e. you study, you take notes, you practice, you do all the homework, you ask questions. You need all that stuff to be successful in mathematics. But hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that is the case, consider helping me out by smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus uh, math videos basic uh, math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Uh, I do, I do want to say real quick that I do have um, a college algebra course in my math help program. I actually have 120 plus, plus different math courses. So I have college algebra, intermediate algebra, algebra one, algebra two, pre-calculus, have a lot of courses. So if you are specifically taking college algebra, you definitely want to check out my college uh, algebra course, okay? But uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing, and I have a ton of uh, information on my YouTube channel, free stuff uh, that, you know, please, you know, I make these videos for you to take advantage of. So take advantage of that, and, of course, you can always look at my, into my math help program as this is where my best math help is. So uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.